This is Bill McFadden from TomePure.com and what we're going to do in this video is see how to download the software from scratch for Vienna Ensemble Pro 7, the free demo. And we'll start by going to vsl.co.at. Then we'll go to Products. Then we'll go to Software, Vienna Ensemble Pro 7, and then we see the free demos, Windows or Mac. I'm on a Mac, so we'll do the Mac. So we'll go ahead and download it. Then we'll reveal it, unzip it, double click, run the demo. Now it's important to note this will install the Vienna Ensemble Pro standalone, the Vienna Ensemble Pro server, and it will also put a plug-in in your DAW via an Ensemble Pro. So three things. So what we'll now do is go to our DAW. We've got Cubase open. We'll start a new project. We'll go ahead and add an instrument. In particular, here's our choice. So Vienna Ensemble Pro. Add track. And then if I go to the edit instrument, notice it says we're not connected. If I go connect, nothing happens because we haven't executed the server yet. And this is all being done on the same machine. We're not networking yet. So what we'll do is go to our applications. And we'll search for Vienna. Within the applications. And there it is. It actually is in a folder, Vienna Ensemble Pro. And here's the standalone. And then here's the server. So we'll go ahead and execute that. So it's telling us it's a demo version. Does not require the e-licensor key. So now the server has come up and it tells you it's a server on the top there. So we'll click the plus arrow. That will allow us to add an instance. And let's go ahead and give it a name. We'll call it double clicking um, instruments. And then on this icon here, I'll click on it and it'll let you insert a plugin. So I'll go ahead and do contact because probably most of your instruments are contact instruments. So there we have some instruments. I'll go ahead and click on uh, Albion Neo strings. Notice at the top it says VE Pro Plugin MIDI in one. And we have MIDI one here. So now how do we get this to play? We go back to the to Cubase and notice now this instance instruments is now showing up. I'll connect. So we're now playing the instrument outside of Cubase in the Vienna Ensemble Pro server. Now, at this point, I could add more instruments. Let's go ahead and add um, the Vienna Imperial Piano that came out a while back and has been superseded by the Synchron. 
So now it's loading. Now in order to play it, I need to access channel two. So I'll go ahead and add some MIDI files. I'll go ahead and add several. And so if I go to MIDI channel two, I'm now accessing the Bosendorfer piano by VSL. And then if I go back here, this is mini channel one. So that's your strings, Albion strings. And let's go ahead and add another plugin. I'll go ahead and add Diva, a synth. And so that's on channel three. Now let's go ahead and take a look at our audio performance. So very little strain on the DAW. It's all being handled through the server which is a program exterior to Cubase at this point. And we can add more instruments. Let's go ahead and... Now if I right click, I also have access to the plugin menu, insert plugin. Let's go ahead and insert a, uh, a synchrome player, get some variety. And we'll go ahead and choose from the Synchron, Synchron Strings 1. And then we'll go ahead and go down to the next MIDI location, which is MIDI 4. Here's the longs. And we can, instead of using MIDI channels, we can add another instance here. Let's say Omnisphere. And I'll go ahead and add the plugin Omnisphere. And there it is. And I'll search for keyboards. And let's do one of my favorites, the cinematic. Now it's loading up. And let's go to, oh, before we can access it, we need to add another instance of the Ensemble Pro because we have a different instance up here. And then we'll connect to it. There it is on the sphere. Connect, and there you go. Whoops, and there we go. So we have all the instruments we've already loaded from the first server for the first instance of Vienna Ensemble Pro. And then here's the second. And then we could add more instruments to this if we want. By going here. And uh, let's go for Orchestral Tools, a new sign player. There's Metro Arc 1. There's your orchestra. 
Here's the high strings. And then, because we have to access the next channel, go ahead and add a few more MIDI channels. And then when we go to our interface, we have to make sure that we're actually interfacing it through channel two. So we'll change that to a two. And you can go on, you can... Now, a really good thing to do is to break these up into like woodwinds, strings, percussion, brass, and so on, as you start to set up a template. Now, I think that gives us a pretty good idea how to actually use Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 as far as accessing your instruments. So if you want more instruments per channel, then you add MIDI channels like we did here to access the various instruments and also here. There's your piano. There's your sign player playing the violins. So in the next video, we're going to be getting into networking Vienna Ensemble Pro 7 with another computer, in particular a laptop. So this is Bill McFadden signing off from TonePure.com.